सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे वी आर बैक विद अनदर एक्साइटिंग टूटोरियल ऑन एन एट एन एंड दिस टाइम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ मल्टी रैग सिस्टम अ मल्टी रैग वर्क फ्लो यूजिंग एन एट एन वेयर माई एन एट एन वर्क फ्लो वुड बी हैंडलिंग मल्टीपल फाइल्स ऑल टूगेदर टू टॉक टू एल एल एम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ लिटल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वर्क फ्लो it is divided into two parts as you can see here the first part is creating the vector db for the two files and the next part is fetching from the vector dbs that we have created and if i show you one of my examples right now i asked this best ai audio models and based on the available information from one of the vector dbs which was this one vector store tool 1 it is able to fetch out answers for me so let's get started let me execute first and then i will show you how it works so to start off we would be first creating the vector dbs for the two files i'll start executing and then explain you side by side so let me test the workflow so here you can see that i am reading two binary files together one consists the draft version of my first bo second book model context protocol mcp server so it talks about mcp servers and the second file is top audio ai models 2025 so these are the two information that i'm passing and then in the next step what is happening i'm replicating the same logic here and here as well so if you have followed my previous tutorial on rack framework using n8n we create a simple vector store here taking an object from n8n and here we will mention the operation mode as insert document we will connect the binary file reader so the pdf that we are reading in the read binary file section would be now pushed to this simple vector store as you can see here embedding batch size you can change if you look into the settings other things can also be played around now in this simple vector store there are two things you need to connect one is an embedding model so the embedding model that i'm using is using olama i'm using nomic embed text so this is running completely local i'm not using any apis for now so the vector store has to be connected to the embedding model and a default data loader so what does the data loader do it does the basic pre processing for you token splitting as you can see here let me zoom in a bit right and then creates a vector db for you so if you can understand the process once we click on the workflow it reads the binary file that is a pdf file it goes to the simple vector store from the vector store it has two components the embedding model taken from olama where we are using nomic embedding and the second part is data loader so the pdf file is loaded and then token splitting happens and your vector db is created now once you see here on the right hand side our output is here and you can see that 272 items are present for the first file so it is able to create 272 items in the vector db using my second book draft model context protocol similarly in the second part also i am just changing the file that is a top ai models of 2025 as you can see and the rest of the process remains completely the same i am using the same model same default data loader etc one thing to note here is that to identify between different data loaders you need to mention the memory key so these key should be different so here it is data 1 and the second key is a vector db that we are creating it is data 2 so in the first step we are able to now create our vector db for the two files you can check out my previous tutorial for rag using n8 and that should be quite helpful if you find this a little complicated now we will move on to the next part that is once we have created our vector db we now need to use that vector db to ask questions from llm around our documents so let's get started this might take some time so this is one of the question that i asked best ai audio models let me ask it again you will press enter and then you will see the entire flow so it goes to an ai agent here 
the AI agent is using again Olama model for chatting that is Quint 2.5 I'm using and the best part is it is using the two vector DBs as two different tools so the vector DBs that we created in the first step simple vector store 2 simple vector store 1 are now getting used as vector store tool and vector store tool 1 now once you open this one if you see here you need to provide a name for this tool and description is very very important right so information about model context protocol different mcp servers and more so depending upon this description the ai agent would be able to pick this tool up similarly in the case of second tool information about ai audio models right so whatever question you ask depending upon that it will go and ask use this particular tool now once done what will happen it will go to connect to the simple vector store that we have created in the first step once you click here retrieve documents so in the first one if you remember we were doing insert documents this time we are doing retrieve documents and memory key is very important the name that we gave so this is data one similarly in the next step retrieve documents this is data 2 so you remember that we named two different keys in the first step while creating the databases this is doing the same thing for us right so we are now connecting the above prepared databases to these tools and we are adding to the vector store tool an olama chat model both the places it's almost a replica as you can see here the chat model is quint 2.5 very similar to what we are using with the ai agent and embedding models are getting used with the vector db that is nomic embed text do remember that you need to use the same tool that was used with while creating the embeddings so the flow looks something like this depending upon the description the question you have asked it will flow to one of the tools and then it will be using the vector stores that are mentioned with the memory key to retrieve relevant documents and then perform rack for you so this is how the entire workflow works this is would be a little slow for this time because i'm running local llms but this is how the multi rack system using init n works for us you first create multiple vector dbs and then use these vector dbs as tool for your ai agent and now you can talk to multiple documents be it pdfs text files docx etc with your ai agent with NA8N. Thank you so much. I hope you try this particular workflow out.